Hey guys, what's up? It's Miss Murder right here. So this video is just gonna show like every single picture that Fathead took of me and maybe a few other cosplays. But um, for a while I was deciding if I should make my vlog parts separate from the picture parts, but I actually didn't vlog too much because I was just more enjoying the time and carrying my guns around a lot, also wearing the gloves. It was kind of hard to pull out the camera and vlog, so I didn't really vlog much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my main photo shoot photos and some of the vlog clips in the beginning of this video and then after that I will show every other photo like all the off guard ones, every other photo that I took with other cosplays, um, some funny pictures and all that extra stuff. That'll be after I kind of make like the first main video. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you like my cosplay give this video a thumbs up and thank you guys so much for watching. So this next clip I'm going to show, I kind of covered the mic on the camera a little bit in the beginning, so I'm just going to voice over this and tell what happened. But so when we first got to Anime Expo, we waited in this line for like two to three hours and it was so freaking hot. And the cape that I was wearing, this thing does not allow any air to pass through. So I am like dripping sweat on my back and my arms. It's like just no air is coming through. So we finally get to the front of the line. So we wait for three hours, finally get to the front, and then the lady's like, oh, you need to go get those weapons checked. And I was like, aren't they inside? Because, you know, last year you would get in and then go inside and the weapon check is like right in the front. And she's like, no, it's way over there. So she pointed it like an opposite direction of the line. And I was like, I'm not going to wait in this long line again just to get my weapons checked. And she's like, no, it's okay. I'll let you in. So she directs us in the way we're supposed to go. So we walk all the way down to where the weapon check is supposed to be. And it's on the opposite side of the fence. So I'm like, I mean, this fence is like probably a little higher than my waist. It's not like really tall, but I'm like asking the guy, I'm like, how do we get over there? Like, where's the open? And he's like, oh, you gotta go all the way back around the way we came from through the line and back around to the front. And I was like, are you serious right now? He's like, yeah, I don't know why she would have sent you this way. I was like, oh my God. So he kind of ended up talking to somebody else. Somebody was asking him questions. And I was getting really frustrated because I had to go pee. It's super hot. I'm sweating. Not to mention my freaking, the Velcro on my, best, on my um, breastplate was falling off because I'm sweating so much outside because we weren't in the shade the whole time. So I'm like trying to hold that on. I'm getting really frustrated. So I kind of go to the other side and then just hurry and try to hop the fence before somebody says something. But as I hopped the fence, trying to go really fast, I ended up catching um, one of my boot armors on the fence a little bit, and it kind of slightly ripped it off, like kind of in the middle piece. I will post a picture of that. Here's me fixing it. So I hopped the fence, and then I see that, and I was like, oh my god, this could not get any worse. So I'm like looking around behind me, expecting to see Fathead jumping the fence behind me, and he's nowhere to be found. And I was like, where did this boy go? So I'm standing there for like a good five minutes, and then all of a sudden I see him show up. So I'm like, okay, there you are. Because I know that he can see me, but I probably won't be able to find him. So I'm like, I'm just going to stay where he probably, he probably knows where I am. He probably went back around. So then we get in the line for the weapon check. And then I get to the front and I put my guns on the little desk thing. And then the guy picks it up and he's like, grabs it and looks behind him to the guy. He's like, does this look like wood to you? Because you're not allowed to have anything wood. <clears throat> and I was like, no, but it's made out of PVC, you know, like baseboards. And then he was like, oh. And then the other guy um, is like, it's okay. It looks like it's shit anyway. I was like, oh, well, thank God. Because I was not about to not be able to bring my Reaper guns in. Opens checked and then, yeah, she lets us back in. So we get inside and I'm like, okay, now I need to fix my boot and glue my, uh, the, or get the Velcro back on the breastplate so that it doesn't, so it holds up. So we're looking all over for this and it's, it's so hard to find, like, it's super complicated. Walk it all over, finally find it. It was good, it was, it was smooth after that.
too. And <laughs> we just got Starbucks and we're headed to Anime Expo now. Don't worry, I'll no. cut this part out. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. We don't know what to say. I'm brushing my wig, just trying to get ready. And it was so tangled from yesterday, from like the heat. And I kept touching it like this, and it just got like super mad. And I'm trying to pull all the pieces out. So, yep. You guys don't know what LA looks like or LA traffic. It's not that bad yet. Uh, we're about to hit it right now.